Okay, so the first thing that we'll test is to check the angles of the server. To be able to do that, you need to have the correct firmware that has the Z probe enabled on your Arduino board. If you are upgrading it, you'll need to download the, the firmware from the Mega Upload folder where we store all the information about the, the printer. You can get the link on the product page of the Prusa i3 on our website. The link to the Mega Upload folder is there and there you can find the firmware for the um, with the auto bed leveling enabled. So what we'll do is we'll connect the um, from Rabbit Host we'll connect to the printer and then we'll send the G code command M401 and when we do that the server will rotate to the to the bottom and we can check if the angle is correct. If the angle is not correct you can remove the, the arm and position it at the correct orientation so that the switch is at the at the bottom so that when it will lower then it will touch the the, the switch will touch the bed and to retract it again you can send the command M402 and it will go up again now the next thing we can test is to home the, the printer so if we now push the home all button on the on Repetia host, what will happen is it will home X and Y and then it will home Z and it will do it. It will do it by using the Z probe. So it will move the Z probe to the center of the bed and then it will probe the bed and then that will be the the new um, Z value. To execute the bed leveling routine, what we're going to do is we're going to home the X axis because the X and the Y axis because this routine won't run if the X and the Y axis hasn't been been homed. So we're going to home the X axis. Then we're going to home the Z axis. And then we're going to send the G code G29 to the printer. And this is now the bed leveling routine. At the moment, it is set up to probe four points on the bed. That was the first point. Now it goes to the second point. That's the third point. And that's the fourth point. So how it works is it takes those four points and it calculates the slope of the bed in the X direction and in the Y direction. And then while the printer is printing, it compensates for that, for that slope. Now the last thing that's quite important is the offset between the Z probe and the nozzle because the nozzle isn't against the, the bed when it probes the bed but the printer needs to know, know how far the nozzle is from the bed so there's two ways to set it the one is in the firmware and the other one is to command it to overwrite that value in the firmware uh, from the, the G code that the slicer executes so it's a lot easier to have access to that value if it's in the, the slicer so what we're going to do is we are adding um, the, a command to the G code that will set that value of the height difference between the nozzle and the, um, and the Z probe. So the command for that is M851 and then space and then Z and then the, the value. The value will be will be negative because the Z probe is lower than the nozzle and the value that I'm using at the moment on, on this printer is 7.35 millimeters and that's the distance that the nozzle will lower when it starts the print 
So if your nozzle is slightly too high from the bed, then you can increase that, that value. It's a negative value, so if it was, for instance, 7.35 and you want to get the nozzle closer to the bed, then you will most probably make it minus 7.4 or 7.45. So if it's a more negative value, then the nozzle will be closer to the bed and it's a le if it's a less negative value, the nozzle will be further away from the bed. As you've noticed, we are making changes to the G-code that is uh, in the slicer that is added to the beginning of the, the G-code um, generated by the slicer. So usually in, in that G-code there will be um, at the beginning there will be a function or a, um, command G28 and that will home the X, Y and Z axis. So we're going to change that. We're going to add in, before that, we're going to add the offset that we spoke about earlier with M851 and then the Z value, which is the, the offset between the Z probe and the, the nozzle. Then we'll do G28, where we own the X, Y and Z axis. The reason why we do the X, Y and the, the Z one as well is we want to get the print head close to the, the bed because with the auto leveling routine the printer doesn't move down as far with as with um, with home or axis so if your your head stops quite high from the previous print and you start the next print then it might not go down far enough so first we home the x y and z with g28 and then we'll execute g29 and then we'll continue with the the rest of the the process as as uh, defined previously. We are also or we have also added a text file to the mega upload folder, which has the G code that we use in the different slices. Um, so you in in that text file you'll find the the G code for Cura for Simplify 3D for slicer that we use. Uh, with our with the auto bed leveling kit.